grade and curve when you're designing a layout have to be prime considerations. Exactly like the railway has to consider when they're serving. We put in the rails, then we build the scenery, and uh, the Rocky Mountains have been there a lot longer than the CPR, and uh, as much as Van Horn and the guys like Rogers who were surveying, they would love to have determined uh, using risers and a one by four bench work uh, where the rails were gonna run, and then we'll build the mountains from there. It didn't work that way, and of course, it was a huge expense and a real challenge. It's no stretch to say that people still obsess over the grandeur and scale of the CPR. But in 1880, before the line was built, while it still only existed in the paperwork of surveyors, a few remarkable men from the east would have to take command and force the CPR through the west. Yeah, this predetermined path, this pair of iron rails uh, in locations that uh, are unaltered, they're there and they have been since 1885 in the completion, you know. So uh, we don't have castles like they do in Europe and Britain uh, to, to stand beside and to get a feel for history. But, uh, but we have a railway. came to an employment office. Outside was a large notice. Steady work guaranteed for two years. The first human bipeds that had ever traversed that godforsaken country. Drunkenness, debauchery, the defiance of not keeping the Lord's day. Everything was darkness, wind blowing hard, and 58 men buried in the slime. I order a thing done in a specified time. The man to whom I get the order says it's impossible, then he must go. There I had to go west under the direction of destiny, epitomized by Horace Greeley's, go west, young man, and grow up the 